At first. <laughs> uh, yeah, just feel the you sponge, you find this on top and see if it's firm or not. If it's uh, not firm, I start massaging. A little bit firm here, okay. Start massaging, usually with my right hand first, because I'm a right handed. If it's not working, then I'm go one hand in the vagina and one hand on top. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit uh, tight, you probably make, you can make it a little bit uh, wider. And I can do the bi manual massage. And you go inside. Uh, push the uterus up, then I can feel better, have a better feeling of the fundus when I push the uterus up through the vagina and then push the uh, uterus from both sides between my hands and start massaging either uh, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise and then uh, try to push the fundus down and open the cervix so all the clots and blood coming down out of the uterus and uh, make the uterus uh, smaller and uh, better position to contract. Continue, continue, and continue, and continue until you get firm. Okay. Um, so you think, wh um, what is happening this whole time? What are you looking for feedback wise? Are feedback, you just my feeling on top? My feeling between, I mean, if it's only uh, one hand fundal massage, I'm just feeling the fundus of the uterus be uh, uh, beneath my finger. Mm -hmm. So if it's firm, like a uh, elastic, of, uh, like a rubber, firm, or is it uh, soft? like uh, like this one so okay then uh, that's only the subjective feeling of my fingers just by experience and if it's by manual of course i feel the uterus between my two hands so i have a better feeling that uh, how globular is the uterus is it like round and uh, ball shape and firm really firm or is it just uh, soft and placid and this uh, uh, escaping between my and sliding between my fingers so that's the main impression that i have during the massage how the firm is the uterus Okay, when when you do a bimanual compression versus mm. a fundal massage only? I always start with the uh, first fundal massage with one hand, and if I had a, a good response, just within a 5-10 seconds, not more than that. If I see there's no good response, I go right away inside and do the bimanual, because every second that you lose uh, blood, it could be critical for the patient. So right. just 5 to 10 seconds, that's the most... Uh, uh, that's the longest time they do the fundal massage. Uh, after that, I do, do bimanual to... Okay. back of the uterus and uh, get a better response okay any uh so, yeah comments on how it feels like something's not accurate mm. or something not accurate i think um everything looks fine here for me the only thing is that um i'm not sure if oh you have something yeah we have okay. something it just but moves it's, though it's, it's not, not fixed yeah. we needed to fix it and yeah we that's need right. to give it a shape it's okay uh mm -hmm. i think i'm not sure if it's available or not if you can uh, have um a little bit thicker balloon, thicker than this, mm -hmm. that probably can have a, a closer, uh, like a mannequin feeling like the universe because it's too thin, so uh, somehow, but I think that it's good. And the other thing, as I said, if this uh, opening would be a little bit uh, larger, then I can... Larger or more elastic? Uh, I mean, if it's elastic, much better, but if you want to make it uh, out of wood or something solid, it'll be larger. If it's elastic, then of course you can push it in yes yeah. that's elastic is much much better because it's uh, closer to the natural feeling so you can put the hands inside and then start massaging between your two hands and then fill it okay we, we have like something like this is this the kind of like material you yeah exactly the latex exactly yeah that's that's the best thing i think okay. that's the best thing that you can have it use it in the in, as a vagina yeah, yeah that's it. uh one of the doctors commented that that was too small it is too small yeah yeah of course too small yeah because it, when you have a delivery of the baby the vagina, I mean, not that this large, but a little bit uh, large, uh, smaller than this one, so about mm -hmm. maybe, uh, I can say, two inches, three inches wide. So okay. you can easily go inside. I know if you can uh, make it, I know this elastic, you can open it, it, but it's yeah. not that much that you can pass your uh, hands. Yes. Maybe if you have, uh, I don't know, some uh, lubricant or uh, gloves that you can pass your finger, but it's, okay. first of all, it's too thick, so the resistance is too much. Okay. And the other one is too narrow. So if uh, I don't know if it, there's a way that you can uh, carve it a little bit more, mm -hmm. then all both of them you can make it thinner, and also you can make it a little bit uh, a larger hole. Then easily you can pass your hands. In. Okay. Um, one suggestion was to make a vagina out of this material. What do you What do you think of this? So that's just fat. Um, yeah. yeah. This, this is a we were gonna, gel yeah, wax. Yeah, it's a gel wax, and we initially mm -hmm. were going to use that as um, an adipose layer for fat. 
to place um, under the skin under to come to simulate for larger women. Larger women, right? But it's, uh, it's suggestion was apart, maybe you know. we could use this material. Uh, either one is cheaper, is fine. I mean, mm -hmm. because both is uh, consistency is the same. But as I said, mm -hmm. uh, if the thickness is about like uh, this for the vagina, mm -hmm. and then you can make it round like uh, this much, like a real you vagina, and then, then yeah, then you can right? then you can mm -hmm. stretch it like this, and then go inside. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like a real, then you can. Put your hand inside, but okay. this one is not going inside, okay. and this is too thin, so mm -hmm. it's not going. Okay. 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 All right. Now